This is Aaron with Zolotech. Today we're going to do a how-to on how to find out what's slowing down your Mac. If you had your Mac from the beginning, it was really fast, probably a much quicker experience than you've expected if you're used to a Windows PC, uh, and they tend to not slow down over time as much. Um, but I had someone recently ask me about, you know, something slowing down my Mac. How can I find that out? First of all, you've, right now I've got a ton of things running on here. I have the program that's recording this. I have Dropbox, Adium. I have uh, Skitch and Calendar and Google Notifier. Uh, not to mention all the programs I have down in the, you know, the the. Uh, I want to say the taskbar, but that's not what it's called. Down on the dock. So what you want to do is you can do this two ways. You have a program. If you go into your Finder and you go to Applications and you go all the way down to Utilities. In Utilities, every Mac comes with this, you have Activity Monitor. The Activity Monitor will show you. Now a quicker way, let me show you a quicker way to bring that up, if you're not familiar with this. If you hold the Command button on your keyboard down and hit the space bar, or you can just click this uh, spotlight, you click it, here's iPhoto, let's type Activity. There it shows up. We hit return and it brings it up. Much quicker way to do it. Um, real easy way to find things on your, on your Mac. So here is all the things that's running right now. I have a lot of different things running. They tell you what's running, the memory it uses, the CPU, the threads, that sort of thing. Uh, if you're not familiar with that, that won't mean a whole lot to you. Um, if you click the CPU button down here, It'll tell you what's going on, what's in idle, how much is being used. System memory, right now this has four gigs in it. Right now I have a gig and a half free. Well, let's see what's using the most. If we take this, we can click this, uh, real memory, you can click it to resort. The kernel task, that you're not going to change because that is your, your Mac, or what's running in the background and what operates your Mac. Um, I show you is what I'm using to record this, and you can see it's using 163.30 megabytes of RAM. It's also using 130.4% of one CPU. So, this is what's using the most memory. If this, if I was having something and I didn't know that it was open, for example, um, say I didn't know that I had Skitch running. And this was using a tremendous amount of CPU processes and it was also using a lot of memory. It would be near the top of the list and you could say, oh, I didn't know this was running. You could go find it and shut it off. In the particular instance I'm talking about, this person found that they had something running in their dashboard. Their dashboard is this, if you all know. So they found they had something running that was hanging up in the dashboard. Once they deleted it, their system was back to normal again. So this was just a quick tip to show you how to find what's, what's using your system memory and your system, your, your, your system processes and slowing everything down. Just a simple, tech, uh, a simple tip on how to find that. Uh, so that's Activity Monitor. And... Uh, you can do many other things, look at the CPU, system memory, disk activity, usage, and all sorts of things. But there's a lot of utilities like this. And again, this shows active processes and inactive. Um, I could cover a lot more things, but that's just something simple to help you out with this. This is Aaron with Zolotech. We'll see you next time.